Hey, everybody. What's up? <laughs> Terrible uh, bring in. This, this week we're talking about horrible bosses. Everybody went and saw it, so we're going to talk about what we thought about it and tell you how you can enjoy it. Who wants, okay. to, who wants to start yeah. off talking about their thoughts? I'll start. Horrible Bosses was directed by Seth Gordon, who also directed King of Kong, which is one of my top favorite movies of all time. And he You're... directed Four Christmases as well, which I thought he was only a documentary filmmaker, but is... he does some other stuff. Which is my favorite movie of all time, Four <laughs> Christmases. So, um, my impression of it, I really enjoyed it. It's really funny. Great characters, uh, every all the actors are used. I thought it was, I was a little afraid it was going to be an ensemble piece, you know, where they get a bunch of big names and they have small parts, kind of throwaway parts, but every part was solid. And the three guys, Jason Bateman, Charlie Day, and Jason Sudeikis, mm-hmm. they were all really great with each other because they, they interacted with each other a lot. And then they were also great with their bosses, which was Kevin Spacey, Jennifer Aniston, and Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. So just... Great movie all around. I laughed the whole time, and I really enjoyed it. Matt? Yeah, I would agree. In order to enjoy this movie, you know, you just basically have to, you know, let yourself laugh at the at all the different jokes, because, you know, even if one joke fails, the next one's going to be good, and, and it was it was packed full of a lot of just very humorous situations, and it, it let the actors kind of... It had kind of an improv feel. I think, I think they just wanted to make sure they got all of these very funny people into funny situations and they could really just you know figure it out themselves um i want to say on a side note you know charlie from it's always sunny charlie day yeah. really still he really stole the show he i did. think he was the funniest guy in it he did awesome man. um he did an awesome job and i was only a little bit i was a little disappointed with jason sudeikis i thought he was gonna be funnier and those people who know me i'm pretty big on snl obviously he's an snl guy and uh Thought he was going to be a lot funnier. He's also from Kansas. Thought I'd point that out for the people who don't know that. He's from Shawnee Mission, I'm pretty sure. I'm just not a big fan of his. I thought he did fine in this movie, but... Yeah, I was not impressed. I mean, he's, yeah. he's fine. He had a different... His character was less humorous, but... He was kind of yeah, less extreme. True. He was, you know, more... One of the more calmer characters. What did you think yeah. about it? Ryan? I, yeah, agree with both of you completely. Um, I like what you said, that the, it had a very strong cast, but mm-hmm. there was a part for everybody in it. It wasn't, um, there wasn't anybody that was just thrown in there to be a big name. Um, yeah. Everybody had a really good, defined part in the movie. Um, they all worked together really well. Uh, it didn't have a ton of laugh out loud, loud moments for me, um, but it was pretty solid, you know, humorous yeah. throughout the whole time. You know, I chuckled a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it was a good solid. It comedy. was funny the whole time. I mean, consistently funny. Yeah. There was no romantic story really, which kind of a lot of comedies have to throw that in to get a bigger audience or whatever. Yeah. There's no romantic. Some guys trying to win some girl, which is kind of nice for a change. What did you yeah. guys? What did you guys think of the uh, the big cameo that I don't think people were expecting? What did you guys think of that? Do you know the cameo was? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Who was the cameo? Well, I don't want to ruin it. For people who haven't seen it, you can the, ruin the it. That's how we do it after the weekend. So you can ruin it. Who was it? Jamie Fox. You guys didn't think that oh, was kind okay. of. Oh, that wasn't a cameo. I didn't. Yeah. It was in the previews. Oh, I guess maybe I didn't know enough about it. That's he was my great fault, too. Man. He was really funny. He had like very little time to make any jokes or be funny. He was hilarious. He's kind of the one part that yeah. I didn't really care for in the movie. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't care for his scenes at all. I didn't care for his part of the movie. I don't know. I thought it was funny. It was unnecessary, but it was. I thought he yeah. was funny. I like him a lot, and why is he not in more movies? You know. I thought he was great. I thought, I thought he was great too. I thought his character drove drove the action along because, I mean, and that's that's the only way you could really relate to these characters because, like we discussed when we talked about our expectations, you know, guys who want to kill people. That's not. Yeah. You know, it's hard for an audience to relate to that, but because they were such like bumbling fools about it, I think everyone was able to and yeah you know, laugh along. And I really like like that they weren't very serious about it, and like they weren't very serious about it at all. But then Kevin Spacey's character actually kills one of the other bosses. So am I supposed to not say that? They were, I mean, they got pretty serious about it really quick. 
I mean, they went from, you know, well, saying it was all complete joke, you know, now that's stupid, we're just drunk and joking about it, to, like, two minutes later, they were going on recon missions. Yeah, to... but I thought the recons were just, like, them hanging out. I didn't really feel like they had the intent to kill, you know? And then, when they are doing... Did a... you guys... What? Did you guys think the bosses deserved it? Do I think the bosses Did deserved the it? Bosses no. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's the thing. You know, one of the bosses could have possibly deserved it. Well, well, two of them. I mean, one was a murderer by the end of the movie, right? Yeah, right. So, That's what makes it good. That's how you can enjoy it is because one's a murderer. You're like, oh, he really is evil. And they do a pretty good job of setting them up as evil, but Jennifer Aniston's not, right. not evil. I think we can both agree, or all agree, that she didn't deserve it You say Jennifer Aniston's not movie. evil. Because, yeah, it does. But it, let's say if a man dentist was sexually harassing her, you know, his female dental assistant, maybe we wouldn't think it was so cool. That's true, but... Which they point out in the <laughs> Yeah, that's probably true, but Yeah, but did you see how smoking she was? That's the best she's ever looked. A little puffy. Her face is a little puffy. <laughs> Talk about friends. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Do you have a list? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do better or worse. And just say better or worse, Matt. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I like how you guys are blaming the long punk podcast on me, like, tell me. Hey, why well, was it? Alright, so this is a... I got a couple of horrible bosses right here. Max <laughs> We're giving you a gun this time. These are all movies that uh, just the actors from the movie were in um, other movies. So, first, or Four Christmases? Better. Well, you know how I feel about that movie. Way worse. Okay. <laughs> Couples Retreat. Never saw it. Better. Better. Better than Way Country. Better. I agree. Hall Pass? Never saw it. Never saw it. <laughs> so it was better. better. It was better than Hall Pass. Uh, what happens in Vegas? Do you guys see better. that? Better. Better. I'm going to say equal. I really like that. I don't know why. Stupid. You just really can't like just it. say better or worse. <laughs> you just have to, there has to be some <laughs> discussion. You can't just uh, say better or worse. And just go with it. That was the recent Jennifer Aniston. Um, Didn't see it. Better. Adam Sandler. Yeah, it was better than that. It was a, it was a good solid comedy. Yeah, so to enjoy it, just uh, sit back and laugh. I mean, I went with a bunch of friends and we had a really good time and, uh, they, you know, we kissed. What? It's weird. I went by myself. <laughs> you go to most by yourself, <laughs> don't. No, but yeah, just, uh, you know, go expecting a good, solid comedy. Really watch cast. Charlie Day. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Yeah. Really watch Charlie Day, because he's got a lot of jokes that you can miss if you're laughing. Hilarious. Yeah, good yeah he's, he's great. All right, All right, Matt, you got anything to okay. add? I don't have anything else. I'm, I think I'm good. All right. Well, that's it. Get out of here! <laughs>